Benjamin Bello is a British Nigerian comedian who portrays President Obonjo, a dictator from the Left Republic whose mission is to invade the UK through comedy. We had a chat with him after his new show, Goodbye Mr President, at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. My name is Benjamin Bankole Bello Aka, President Obonjo. I am a comedian and I have been a comedian for the past 10 years. I'm originally from Nigeria. I was born in Liverpool. I was born in Liverpool in the 60s and then went back home in um, 1960 something. I'm not going to tell you my age. And, uh, and we went back by boat. And uh, I lived in Nigeria for about 10 to 15 years before coming back to the United Kingdom. I want to talk to you about my, my friend, Kim Jong un. North Korean dictator. North Korea tests bombs. There's no doubt in my mind that America tests bombs on poor civilian countries. There's no doubt in my mind that I test my jokes on my audience members and I never bomb. <laughs> I always remember my father telling me that I was really funny, uh, but I never explored, you know, performing on stage until I arrived in the UK. Um, probably 10 years later when I hosted a Nigerian wedding and someone said to me, oh, Benjamin, you are so funny as an MC. Would you like to do stand-up comedy? I said, what stand-up comedy? I picked up a microphone, went to a comedy club, and I haven't looked back ever since. Now the Republic has no oil. We've got comedy gold. <laughs> well, the idea of a bunch of came from... Uh, well, uh, let's say about 11 years ago, my wife was supporting Hillary Clinton, I was supporting Obama. Hillary Clinton loses the election, Obama becomes president. My wife buys me two books to read, The Audacity of Hope and Dreams of My Father. And I felt that my wife was actually attracted to Obama, because she's like, Obama this, Obama that. And so I thought the best way to get my wife back is to create a character called President Obonjo, who sounds like Obama. Every time I make love to my wife, now she calls me Mr. President. So it was great. I got my wife back and comedy started. I'm married. I'm married to an English wife. I'm married for passport rather for love. You should repeat the question, but do not repeat it in an African accent. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true or false, Mr. President? Is it, is it true or false, Mr. President? Controversy at the moment. Um, E4 and BBC Studios have created a character very similar to mine, and they launched uh, the press release on the 18th of July to say that we're creating this new character, and there was a new TV series uh, pilot. And uh, I have been overwhelmed by the response from the comedy community. Um, there's a hashtag called Justice for Bonjour, and people are fighting back, and I'm fighting back um, to ensure that they don't steal my character. I am doing a show that's very, very emotional. I can't really give you the details of it because I don't want to. I don't want you to have any spoilers. But it's a fantastic and funny show, and the president performs very well. Because we live so many busy lives, we don't value our friendships. We don't value the people we love. It's really, really important. If there's anything that you take away from this, please cherish your relationship. Cherish your friendship because you never know when the time is up. Ten years on the stage and thousands of shows under his belt, we look forward to even more from the President and Benjamin in the coming years and hope he gets the justice he deserves. Mr President, we salute you. The Alternative Network